Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Guys, in today's session, I will be discussing para jumble selection of the right opening sentence. When it comes to para jumbles, most of the times, you know, the two doubts that students have is one, ma'am, how do we select the opening sentence? And the second most important doubt that they come to me with is pairing, how to form subsets. So today, guys, I'm going to address the first of your doubts. That is how should we select the opening sentence? Because most of the times, this is the first step. In solving the para jumbles question so there has to be some tricks there has to be some techniques there has to be some approach so that is what i'm going to share with you today guys let me remind you that your entire preparation for the varc section will happen not just varc guys come to cat for mba live daily your entire preparation for cat be it varc lrdi quantitative aptitude gdpi all of it for that you have to come daily live on cat for mba and i will be meeting you with the varc section preparation at 8 pm today's agenda guys first we'll discuss the importance of para jumbles after rc i would say this area is the second most important area in terms of the number of questions and the number of marks associated with it and we will be discussing selection of opening sentence based on two parameters, which are the two parameters. One is logic analysis and the other one is language analysis. Guys, if your logic or your common sense and your language, uh, you know, these are the two pillars on which your entire foundation of para jumbles, not just para jumbles, but the entire foundation of your VARC section is based on. So once you get this right, trust me, and it's not difficult. It's not at all difficult. It's very easy to ensure 100% accuracy. You just need the right guidance. And that is what I'm going to share with you. Okay. So our mission is CAT 2020, guys, for which you have to come daily live CAT for MB. I'll be meeting you at 8 p.m. Telegram. Join the Telegram group and, you know, let's crack it. Okay. Mission CAT 2020. All of you, 99 to 100 with an Unacademy Plus subscription. Unacademy Plus subscription, guys, give you, gives you a host of benefits. Daily live classes, very interactive classes, top educators from all across the country sharing their courses with you. One-time subscription, you can join and enroll all to all their courses, be it any module. Okay, GDPI, uh, uh, written ability test, all scratch strategy sessions, other management exam preparations, everything at one time subscription. But yes, for that, you will have to, I would suggest guys that you either take the 12 month subscription or the 24 month subscription. Reason is that our CAT ka selection hota hai, wo agle saal May mein ja ke hoga. Aapke jo final lists announce honge, wo agle saal May mein ja ke honge. So tab tak, you need constant guidance and support and mocks. That is very important. All India mocks. And you have to know where you stand. Or it's got detailed analysis, doubt solving sessions, all of this one time subscription, 12 months, 24 months, and use my code Ritu MBA and you will get 10% off. Okay, guys, so you have so many resources at your behest Unacademy plus YouTube sessions on Cat for MBA and the Telegram group. Ek source ko pakro aur usse puri tarike se achche se karo. So I would suggest that your source, your one stop solution for your entire CAT preparation needs should be Unacademy. Okay, and all the various platforms of Unacademy. Okay, so guys, let's talk about the importance of para jumbles. Now, when it comes to para jumbles, ye question jame bolti hu ki expected number of questions is three to four. You will ask me, ma'am, how is this the expected number of questions? I will tell you, guys, this is expected based on not just the previous three years for para jumbles. I can say this consistently throughout the years, para jumbles along with RC has been a consistent and a constant feature in your CAT exams and not just CAT exam, guys. Up SNAP, Lelo, IAFT, Lelo, up ZAC, Lelo, up NMAT, Lelo. Jitne bhi management competitive exams se wo aap le lo, para jumble is a regular fixture. TK or three to four questions, that is nine to twelve marks, that is a difference of thousands of ranks. Or ye sif para jumble questions in a guys. Job sentence odd man out de kriampe, jiske bhi hum expect kar sakte around two to three questions. Usme bhi hum para jumble ka logic hi use karenge. When I'm going to teach you and take you through your entire sentence on man out, I will be taking you and applying these this entire logic of para jumbles. You will see how important it is to ensure 100% accuracy. You cannot just randomly select an odd man out. You have to use a para jumble logic. So this area carries a weightage collective ho gaya ab hamara six to eight questions, which is very, very crucial. Okay, so you have to understand it, guys. You have to understand the right techniques, approach, 
हाफ हजार रुपए में हम इसका प्रिपरेशन नहीं कर सकते एंड फिर दैट यू हैव टू बी विथ मी ओके सो आई विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू द लॉजिक एनालिसिस एंड लैंग्वेज एनालिसिस ऑफ पैरा जंगल्स वेदर इट्स द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस वॉट वी गोन टू टॉक अबाउट टूडे और वेदर इट्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सबसेट्स एंड पेयर्स You need to know the paragraph flows, general essay type, personal essay type, comparative essay type, narrative type, links for formation of sentences. What are the grammatical cues? What are the key indicators or words that we have to focus on? How do we link the right ideas together? All of this, we will be discussing. Okay. So today, guys, let me give you a little briefing on how do we select the opening sentence because this is, I'm sure, a lot of you have been facing problems with this. Guys, first thing. you have to remember that 80 to 90% of the time your questions in the cat exam are of the general essay type 80 to 90% now what happens in the general essay type is you start with the broadest statement first now ab main bolu broadest statement first iska matlab ye nahi hai ki the lengthiest statement no that is a misconception when i say broadest statement first i mean the most general statement which gives me the topic and which is broad in terms of context now context kya hai ye word hum log kai baar sunte uh, aap questions ke solutions ek to tha aur dekhte ye option answer nahi ho sakta ye out of context hai this is within the context you know kai baar so sochna padta hai ye context hota kya hai exactly so context is nothing but guys place and time now let me give you some examples let us say so this is a structure guys of the basic general essay type question you start with the most broadest the most conceptual the most topical statement then you narrow down then you zero down then you go specific for example if the passage is about global warming there is one statement which talks about the impact of global warming on the world and there is another statement which talks about the global warming impact of global warming on india अब लॉजिकली क्योंकि ये देखो आपके लिए स्पेशली ये पैराग्राफ्स बनाए नहीं जाते ना दे आर टेकन फ्रॉम सोर्सेज विथ सोर्सेज आर न्यूज पेपर आर मैगजीन आर जर्नल सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वॉट दी ऑथर्स डू और द राइटर्स डू इज राइट पैराग्राफ्स इन द जनरल एसे टाइम वॉट दे डू इज फर्स्ट यू विल टॉक अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दी ऑफ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग ऑन द वर्ल्ड देन आप आओगे इंडिया पे करेक्ट वन स्टेटमेंट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सेंचुरी द लास्ट हंड्रेड ईयर्स another statement is talking about what is happening in the last 10 years which is broader century is broader than decade so put the century first and then put the decade so you start with the most broadest or the most topical statement okay and then we will narrow it down okay right so in addition to this guys there are also certain grammatical cues that i want you to remember now here i've seen students having a lot of misconceptions first thing first point says avoid sentences beginning with these words why look at it but still yet however nevertheless also moreover similarly likewise so and so why because these are all most of these are conjunctions and conjunctions are joining words correct now they will be their connectors so when they are connectors they are joining words they are conjunctions they are they indicate continuation yeah they indicate contradiction they cannot they generally will not come in the beginning guys ye words generally aap ek paragraph bahut rarely aise paragraph dekhoge jo however se shuru hota hai you know fresh paragraph of an article nahi hoga kyunki ye contradiction indicate karta hai baad mein aayega ye i studied well but i failed jo aapke sath nahi hoga but i studied well but i failed however So, ये सब जो है ये कनेक्टर्स है ये बाद में आते हैं ये जनरली ओपनिंग सेंटेंस बट हैविंग सेड दैट एक्सेप्शन आर ऑलवेज देर दैट्स वाई आई सेड अवॉइड सेंटेंसेज आई नॉट सेड दे विल डेफिनेटली नॉट बी दैट फार इज पॉसिबल अवॉइड देम बट ये देर आर गोइंग टू बी एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन आ चुके हैं जहां येट से भी शुरू होता है बट से भी शुरू होता है नाउ आई विल ब्रिंग दोज क्वेश्चन टू यू गाइज सर्टन थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर इन दोज केसेज एंड हाउ कैन दीज एक्सेप्शन ऑल्सो हैपन but first understand the rule then we'll come to the exception so generally avoid sentences which begin with these words because these are connectors now one question that a lot of students have is what about because because can start a paragraph what is wrong with because because i was stuck in traffic i was late to class it's an independent stand alone good enough sentence it can be my opening sentence although although she was uh, although uh, she was stuck in traffic she she reached office on time can be my opening sentence it should be independent it should be self sufficient it should be stand alone 
तब वो हमारा ओपनिंग सेंटेंस जाके हो भी सकता है ओके सो सेंटेंसेस पे डिपेंड करते हैं वो ऑल्सो बी केयरफुल वेन दीज प्रोनाउंस आर यूज गाइस ही शी दे इट दीज दो देन एक्सेट्रा बी केयरफुल वेन दीज वर्ड्स आर यूज रीजन इज अगर प्रोनाउन दिया है दीज आर ऑल प्रोनाउंस राइट अगर प्रोनाउन दिया है तो उसका नाउन भी ढूंढना पड़ेगा For example, if there's a he, and then one sentence gives you the name, so put the noun first, and then put the pronoun. These books, which books? Search. If the name of the books is given, put the name first, then put these books. Those people. Search. Which people are you talking about? Put the noun first, then put the pronoun. But if all the statements says he, 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 कोई भी statement में noun है ही नहीं, तो आप pronoun से शुरुआत कर सकते हो. ओके सो आई एम सेइंग बी केयरफुल आई एम नॉट सेइंग डेफिनेटली निकाल दो ये ओपनिंग सेंटेंस हो ही नहीं सकता नो बी केयरफुल बी एक्स्ट्रा कॉशियस सर्च फॉर द नाउन इफ द नाउन इज देयर देन पुट द नाउन फर्स्ट एंड देन कम टू द प्रोनाउन ओके वन मोर थिंग टू रिमेंबर गाइस व्हेन यू आर लिंकिंग नाउन एंड प्रोनाउंस बी वेरी केयरफुल इफ इट इज नाउन इज सिंगुलर या प्रोनाउन यूज्ड विल आल्सो बी सिंगुलर नाउन इज प्लूरल द प्रोनाउन यूज्ड विल आल्सो बी प्लूरल लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स गो रॉन्ग इन लिंकिंग दिस आई विल शो यू क्वेश्चन टूडे आपको फर्स्ट हैंड इसका एक्सपीरियंस मिलेगा वन आई से दिस सिंगुलर आई से दिस बुक मीन्स वन बुक दीज बुक्स मेनी दैट सिंगुलर दो प्लूरल देन दी एस सोचो वेन लिंक इट सो ऑलवेज लिंक नाउन एंड प्रोनाउंस टूगेदर दैट्स द बेस्ट वे टू फॉर्म सबसेट्स दैट्स द बेस्ट वे टू फॉर्म पेयर्स ओके Even when you're talking about nouns, obviously first full name आता है फिर name आता है फिर he आता है See, these are all the ways in which we talk. These are normal conversations, guys. These are normal. This is normal common sense. If you meet someone for the first time, you would address the person by his full name. Correct. When you become familiar with the person, when you become a little bit conversant, फिर आप use करते हो उसका नाम and then you use the pronoun. Basic common sense is nothing much to it. Just apply your common sense, and trust me, cat will be a very smooth sailing experience for you. So, full name, name, pronoun. This also applies to full forms and short forms. One sentence is United Nations. The second sentence is UN. Logically, पहले कौन सा आएगा? United Nations. Full form comes before short form because as a writer, I'm going to write the full form of the body, and then when I don't want to waste my ink writing every time, okay, United Nations Association and so on. I'll start using short forms for my convenience. So I don't want to write Mark Twain, Mark Twain, Mark Twain, Mark Twain again and again. Then I'll start using Twain. Then I'll start using he. These are all the normal ways in which we write articles. I'm sure you guys have also written essays and reports in your school and college days. Okay, right. Now these two points that I'm sharing with you here are very important. And trust me, ninety percent of the students don't focus on this. From my personal experience, I'm I'm sharing this with you. over the last 9 to 10 years what i've seen is most of the students go wrong in applying these two points you all know it aap sabke grammar strong hai ha but still you don't think about this when you're answering para jumble questions remember guys when the comes the is a definite article the specific hota hai a or an is a general or indefinite article so if i say a research conducted and the study concluded the study nahi aa sakta pehle the specific with study a research pehle a research aayega fir the study aayega there is one uh, there's a passage let's say one statement says the continent okay there's another statement which says africa which will come first Africa पहले आएगा फिर आएगा the continent. Why the continent? मतलब specific. Which specific continent? Africa. So these are little little nuances, guys. These are little points that we have to keep in mind to arrive at a right answer because it's going to come in theta. So अगर आपका order थोड़ा सा भी गलत हो जाता है two three four one के जगह आपने right answer है two three four one आपने भर दिया three two four one आपने इतनी सी बात पे ध्यान नहीं दिया. तो आपका पूरा का पूरा आंसर रॉन्ग हो जाएगा दो ढाई मिनट वेस्ट हो जाएंगे उसके साथ साथ तीन चार मार्क्स आप खो भी दोगे विच इज अज बागे ओके सो ये सब पॉइंट्स पे ध्यान रखो एब्जेक्टिव्स कोई सोचता ही नहीं है इसके बारे में फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव डिग्री फिर कंपेरेटिव डिग्री फिर सुपरलेटिव डिग्री देखो सपोज दो स्टेटमेंट है वन टू ठीक है फर्स्ट वाला बोलता है कंज्यूमर्स हैव लिटिल डिफिकल्टी इन एडजस्टिंग टू द न्यू एज ऑफ बेटर प्रोडक्ट्स Governments find change harder. What will be the answer? It will be two one. Why? अगर मैं बोलूँ harder क्या two one होगा answer? आप सोचो बहुत students मुझे बोलते हैं it will be two one. 
how can it be to one governments find change harder harder than whom harder than consumers to so one two hoga answer guys one two smart fit smarter hard fit harder a uh, little fit less so consumers ko itna difficult nahi lagta hai governments find change harder harder when compared to whom harder when compared to consumers so the right order will be one two okay these are little things that you have to keep in mind very crucial right let's put all of this into practice and let's try out this question together okay look at the first one now i'm going to read it i'm going to work from as a student aap dekho mera approach kya hai how am i going to select the opening sentence theek hai is question se mera maqsad ye hai ki mujhe write opening sentence chahiye okay first one besides this massacre now uh, dekho guys words pe focus karo besides besides ka matlab kya hota hai besides ka matlab hota hai also correct this massacre which massacre massacre mass killing the eruption the specific which eruption to so, kya ye opening sentence ho sakta hai on three accounts this fails as our opening sentence ek to also ya besides hai uske baad this hai uske baad the eruption hai ye kafi specific sentence hai jo kisi aur sentence se connected hai to so, ye mera jo hai opener nahi ho sakta but humanity has not had to deal with a cataclysmic volcanic disaster since 1815 You will say bam, but hai, definitely eliminate kar do opening sentence ke liye. Main bolungi, careful raho, ek baar rakho, dekhte hain. Kya pata ye exception hai? To immediately aise mat nikalo. Okay, three. The devastating Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 and the Tohoku earthquake in 2011 highlighted some of the worst case scenarios for natural disasters. Can be, can be my opening sentence. Koi he, she, they, this, then, that, those, ye sab hai nahi. can be my opening sentence such world altering blast such world altering blast such means like what it's an example like what it's linked to a statement can't be my opening sentence it was in that year ab ab dhoondo year diya hai ya nahi dekho 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 ha idhar bhi year hai idhar bhi year hai idhar bhi year hai kisi se to connected hoga it was in that year when the eruption of tambora in indonesia killed tens of thousands of people ye bhi opening sentence ye ho sakta that year ke karan तो ग्रामेटिकली अब मैंने एनालिसिस कर लिया अब लॉजिकली करूंगी मैं टू और थ्री हमारे ऑप्शन है उनको कंपेयर करो मैंने आपको बोला ब्रॉडेस्ट स्टेटमेंट पहले आएगा टू सेज कैटिकलिज्मिक वॉलकैनिक डिजास्टर वॉलो थ्री सेज वर्स के सिनारियो फॉर नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स विच इज अ ब्रॉडर स्टेटमेंट यू टेल मी प्लस इसमें बट भी है विच इज अ ब्रॉडर स्टेटमेंट सिर्फ वॉलकैनिक डिजास्टर या नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स विच इज ब्रॉडर ऑब्वियसली नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स so 3 then now becomes my opener i'm going to start with 3 and then i will work out the rest of the order so it is that simple but see it should work in tandem sirf language nahi ho sakta sirf logic nahi ho sakta tandem mein is saath mein chalna chahiye sync mein chalna chahiye so this is what i'm going to focus on with you now yahan pe ab maine aapko clues to de diye aap is question ko work out karo opening sentence maine aapko bata diya hai नेक्स्ट वीडियो में जो मैं आपके लिए लेकर आऊंगी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सबसेट्स पे उसमें तब तक आप अपना आंसर फ्रेम कर लो एंड इन दैट वीडियो गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द फाइनल आंसर एंड यू गो टू वर्क इट आउट टुगेदर ओके थोड़ी सी मेहनत आप करो इस क्वेश्चन पे आपको आंसर फल बहुत जल्दी मिलेगा सो स्टे ट्यून्ड गाइस थ्री इज द ओपनिंग सेंटेंस रिमेंबर सॉल्व करो स्टे ट्यून्ड स्टे विद मी क्लास सब्सक्रिप्शन लो गाइस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आपको पता चलेगा डेली आप मॉक टेस्ट दे सकते हो क्विजेस दे सकते हो आपको डिटेल रिपोर्ट एनालिसिस मिलता है हाउ डू यू स्टैंड इन कंपैरिजन टू द अदर स्टूडेंट्स वेयर आर यू वर्सेस द टॉपर और आर यू द टॉपर यू विल डेफिनेटली बिकम द टॉपर ठीक है मिशन क्या 2020 ये नहीं छोड़ना है काफी बेनिफिट्स मिलते हैं उसके लिए आपको सिर्फ अन एकेडमी का ऐप डाउनलोड करना पड़ता है इंस्टॉल कर लो अवेलेबल अक्रॉस ऑल प्लेटफॉर्म्स Select plus course guys. You can also go through special classes. Free है ये आपके लिए special class. आपको जानना है कि exactly how is the interface. Get familiar with it. Yes, do that. But plus subscription लो. Click on cat. That's our mission. That's our goal. Click on get subscription. Select the plan. Twelve months, twenty four months. Apply my code, which is very crucial. Ritu MBA. Ritu my name. MBA is our goal. Use these. Use the code, guys. Proceed to payment. You will get ten percent off. A big advantage. A very small price to pay for a lot of benefits, guys. 
So use the code Ritu MBA. Also, you know, there are very many other popular courses. Spread the word around your friends, your siblings, anybody who's aspiring for any of these exams. This is the need of the R, guys. This is the best platform. This is the need of the R. Okay. So I'm going to see you guys daily live, 8 p.m. Cat for MBA. Do not forget. Please like, share, subscribe. Telegram group, join it to get a lot of content, questions. Mission Cat 2020, let's crack it. Okay.